background for these new poems um, is like most books that I work on, kind of begins in a murky spot and it evolves over the course of working on the poems and they sort of tell me what to do next, I guess you could say. Rain crow, scarecrow, ever witch aware crow, ye haw jack tails higher than a cat's back, taller than the tallest tiptoe vine, told in the old high lonesome line. Rain crow, scarecrow um, is a book that it has the feel for me of being a culminating endeavor. I don't, <laughs> I don't want it to be the last thing I do, um, but it does feel like I've had the freedom uh, to bring together a lot of things that I've thought about previously um, in other work. Season of fog, season of mists, season of ending, season of sleep. Time to be awake to time, time to repair, time to lay by, and time to let the dying die. This is the final poem of the book, which I, be I believe will sort of function as a kind of epilogue called the tall book. I've determined the quiet beauty of things is what I hearken to, the grace of a papery butterfly tipping over the purple frill at the tops of iron weed, the field splayed up the hill and misty, the end of summer. Nothing like an understatement to inspire or rain of flood in the mind to leave it glimmering and deep there's a great tradition of poetry in Kentucky that very consciously relies on oral tradition, a story that's been handed down, um, and then the poet presents him or herself as the person who puts it to paper. It's been a pretty good day. I've worked in the pastoral sense under the sun and felt the heat, the idle shrug of knowing the work is never done, to make the world alive and living, to make the mind's revealing vision tremble and shake itself alive as a butterfly wriggling out of its sticky, round domain. In my mind, I have this imaginary map that fuses together different regions of Kentucky that all sort of ferment what I try to do as a poet. And that region kind of goes centered here on our farm. Um, and it kind of goes, travels back south and east, down into Clay County, down into Pulaski County and Rockcastle County where my mother's people settled into Boyle County where I grew up. As much as I, in this book, have mythologized people, I'm aware that I've also mythologized the, the landscape. I can tell I'm dreaming my way into something, drifting along with the pleasant dream and the voice of the dream telling it in a sonorous sound and rhythm I like. When I was a child, very little, before school, I understood that holding, holding a pen in your hand was powerful. Putting something down on the, on the page, putting words onto the page was, um, you know, not just expressing yourself, not just, uh, you know, something you do because you've run out of other things to do. It, it seems to have a 
um, an intention. In fact, this pen uh, is one that I played with as a child. All of these poems in Rain Crow were written with this pen. <laughs> 